hi you guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl colors and i'm back with another video and today's video is going to be all about what is in my hospital bag because let me tell you i'm way overdue i am really cutting it to the last minute because today i am 37 weeks and five days <laughs> so i am cutting it close i am already four centimeters dilated I don't know what else going on down there. Last time I knew, uh, she was only 50% effaced, but that was three days ago. And th three or four days prior to that, I wasn't even dilated. But I'm really trying to get my life together. But I'm here. I am still pregnant. No, I'm not recording this after. <laughs> uh. Now, if you end up hearing noise, it is the white noise to my daughter's white noise machine, I guess, my sound machine, Hotch Baby Rest. So, if you hear that noise, that's her because I have to keep an eye on her. She is sleeping, child. Hold on, let me show you. Uh, as far as the picture goes to the thumbnail, it kind of was a little bit of clickbait because that is not the bag I'm going to the hospital with. That is actually my run out the door for a quick trips bag this is just something i just throw in because i do still have my itsy ritsy bag if you haven't seen my first what's in my hospital bag video uh i'll try to remember to link it up in the cards or in the description box below i still have my itsy ritsy bag i still do use it especially for longer trip situations but after a while that bag has been written really heavy and i just wanted quick trips to like the store type that so i got that bag it's just a bag i got from burlington for like 30 dollars but the bag that i'm going to be actually going to the hospital with is the same bag that is in the first what's in my hospital bag video and that is this duffel bag and this time, it, this is the only bag I'm going to be taking to the hospital. Vice versa is actually a diaper bag because in my first experience, I realized that it wasn't even necessary for me to bring a diaper bag as well as hospital bag. Um, only worry about the stuff. If it can fit in the suitcase, just bring the suitcase or whatever child. So I think all of our stuff will be able to fit in here, but we shall see. So if you're interested in knowing what I am taking to the hospital this time around, just keep on watching. Now this time I do plan on being way more intentional. Uh, there were some things that I left behind the first time that I'm definitely going to be taking this time. So let's just go ahead and just start going through some of the stuff. So no in particular order. The first thing I'm going to be taking to the hospital with me is my infamous Hatch Baby Rest is the same machine, sound machine that she is listening to right now. I am in love. They need to sponsor me how much I be talking about this thing. I absolutely love my Hatch Baby Rest. It is on a little bit on the pricey side, but I definitely do think it's worth it. This is actually a new one that I got from my um, baby shower, and I'm so glad I did, but even if I didn't, I would have gotten it anyway because right now the two girls aren't sleeping in the same room, so I need a second one anyway. But the first time I went to the hospital, um, I did use the sound machine. It was super, super soothing, and it does have uh, changing lights or light setting options on it, so I think that would be very soothing, especially for creating the atmosphere for my room. It was very helpful the first time and it would just be going down again. So uh, definitely a sound machine. The next thing I am going to be bringing to the hospital is shower shoes. This is a little dusty because, um, because it is, but these are the shoes that I actually wore to the hospital with Naola. I said to the hospital, no. While I was in the hospital with Nala after having her, this was my shower shoes for her, so it's kind of nostalgic and I have to do it again. So when I am able to get a shower, especially if I'm there more than two days, I'm gonna need a bath. Also, the thing after that, and I can kind of say multiple in this situation, and that is my camera, my electronics, my batteries, also an extension cord with my charges all the technology stuff i am definitely going to make sure i bring in these batteries i'm actually going to put in there right now before i forget it because i do want to record as much as comfortable but 
Um, it's important because I am filming and because I am a YouTuber child um, that I have all the equipment. I do always bring an extension cord because the plugs are always far from the bed and it's hard to be on my phone even with the sound machine or any other electronics charging things and quick grab. I need this such a cord. So the bigger advice is my biggest advice is actually having an extension cord in your bag because it's going to be very vital <laughs> in the situation because the last thing you want is to have your phone going dead and your phone has to be way across the room especially if you're one of those people that like to listen to music so i do have my headphones as well the next thing i am going to bring to the hospital with me is covers and this is actually the same cover I had in my room with me with Nala. <laughs> I had this actually under bed with me. And the crazy part is blood actually did get on this. And this is a quick side note. If you do decide to bring any of your items that's going to be surrounding you, like covers, um, as well as like your own personal pillow, which I will be bringing, which I do have a side note as about that as well but if you do plan on bringing your own products and things like that make sure after having your baby like I'm talking I'm talking about right after like before you leave your birth room make sure they didn't toss this in biohazard because actually after having Nala I guess I got blood on this and a couple other things and when after they left the room I noticed that this was actually sticking out of the biohazard laundry thing and that was a big problem and i told david to help and grab all my stuff out of that stuff because you're not going to get that back they were going to just toss my stuff because if it hit the laundry room they don't know where it came from so make sure you keep an eye on your stuff a cover is the biggest thing that i would say to bring with you but alongside that like i was saying before make sure you bring a pillow now my biggest advice is when it comes to bring a pillow do not bring a white pillowcase because then this may end up in a biohazard or with their stuff as well and you may not even know it so i definitely plan on taking this pillowcase off and adding my own colorful one just one that they can obviously see that this that is not the hospital but having your own pillow and your cover is very important also i do plan on bringing david a cover and he has his own little version of a plush cover, which kind of turned into Nala's cover, honestly. But this is like a little, just like an individual size blanket as well. It looks very similar to my queen one, but I am planning on packing this one for David so that he has his own little comfort. But honestly, he may not even need this because last time when we were in the hospital, he was able to just sleep in the bed with me. The next thing that I plan on bringing to the hospital is slides or comfortable shoes. Wear slides so you can just throw on your feet so that you're not just walking on the floor or whatnot. And you just need something to just throw on your feet to go to the bathroom, to go um, watch your baby get his first bath. Whenever you're walking around the room, uh, you need easy slide so don't bring the thong sandals just grab these one i just grabbed these from walmart they was on clearance for two dollars and these are so super cute the next thing that i plan on bringing is y'all gonna think i'm weird and such an old lady but i'm just thinking about my experience and what actually made me most comfortable now i plan on actually bringing like gowns to actually lay around in. Now this time, I do not plan on having anybody in the room with me. I'm not having a doula this time. I decided not to because the original doula that I was getting wasn't able to come this time. I just want a different experience. I absolutely, absolutely love the experience that I had as far as people being there for me. I have gotten lots of criticism about people and the amount of people I had in my room and that's a whole nother thing because I be wanting to go off on everyone who has problems with how I decided to do my labor and delivery but this time I just wanted to experience something different especially since I do not plan on having more kids for a while so I knew regardless of who 
um, would come in my room, like doctors' wives and stuff like that. It's only gonna be David and the nurses and stuff like that. So I am actually bringing my old lady gown to wear around the hospital because you're gonna be doing a lot of skin to skin. So I really wanted to bring this time like something that I can easily just like have her lay under me. I can just pull these little drawstrings down and they could just tuck her in on top of me and just something I could just throw down. I do not plan on breastfeeding, so I'm not really pressed on that, but I wanted something that I could easily kind of get in and out of. So I'm bringing this one as well as this comfortable, like, it's it's like a, I call it a house dress. Ooh, it's kind of backward. Um, yeah, so I call it a house dress, but something that is just like very comfortable to just lounge in. But just in case I do want to have like pants on, I did bring this um, nursing tank top, which I wore the first time with Nala and having like shirt and sweatpants. And this is gonna be probably my going home outfit which is just this little jumpsuit but as far as labor and delivery i do plan on wearing my labor and delivery dress which is this that i got off of amazon i wore this last time when i had nala if you seen my birth video you see me wearing this one and it is very nostalgic and I have to wear it so probably every time I have kids I'm gonna be wearing the same labor and delivery gown this thing was so comfortable so comfortable I remember going to hospital and when I put this on they was trying to actually make me change but you do not have to change don't let them make you feel like you have to change it has all the accessibility of an actual labor hospital gown it has the um, middle slip part which i can probably show you so if you open it up it actually can access your belly like that and it also has buttons on the back all the way down just like hospital gowns and then afterward i'll probably be putting on the gown or this robe <laughs> So this is another thing that I wore the first time. And I absolutely love, love this robe. And it's really like a heavy, it's not really heavy, but it's it's like, I don't know, I made myself look so big right there. When I tell you, this thing was a lifesaver during my whole like recovery process and mother's room and all that. The next thing that I plan on bringing to the hospital is this. And this is the my best friend, breast friend. <laughs> now, I know I said that I do not plan on breastfeeding, and I don't. The reason why I'm planning on still bringing this to the hospital, just in case I have to, for whatever reason, if there's a reason that it's the better decision to breastfeed, it was super annoying to fit all the pillows around me to be comfortable to feed her, to lay her, um, around me and eat because pillows slip they move or whatever and with the my best friend you know it clips down around and it doesn't budge and it has like that imprint I don't know if you can see a mound but it has like a mound imprint and it just doesn't move if you tighten it in place the next thing I'm planning on bringing is very super comfortable like non-slip type of sock they have like these comfy furry plush in the inside so i'm bringing a couple different types of non-slip this is actually the ones that can be in the hospital but they slip off your feet <laughs> so i don't know how helpful it is but i do keep a lot of these also i'm planning on bringing a fan which i need right now in the time that i was getting extremely hot and uncomfortable during the labor process I was getting really hot and they really want to put rags on my face but I had a beat face not a beat face but I did have makeup on and I didn't want the wet towels on my face so I actually brought a fan and I just had David sit there like this in front of me and just like fan me down to cool me off this actually um, sits by itself like this and you can angle it any kind of way also I am planning on bringing the wonderful underwear that I'm gonna have to wear for like two months or whatever and that is the always discreet one and these are adult diapers by the way 
But these are the ones I wore with Nala. I didn't never have any issues. They were always super comfortable. And I really hated, hated, hated the mesh panties diapers they give you right after um, you deliver and they want to see you pee and all that. I really hated those. And I discovered really quickly with that long pad thing was not something I'm into. This is where it is. Get adult diapers. Wear them, pull it up like panties, you'll feel normal. Nobody got time to be swishing around and having like a big diaper crossing your booty crack. That's just not where it is. Also, I will be taking a couple of nursing bra. This is a nursing bra or whatnot that I will be taking to the hospital. I'm only gonna be taking like two of these. I have a black one and I have a white one because I don't foresee me actually wearing any bras <laughs> the whole time, but if I need that so sense of security, I have some just in case. Also, another thing that I will be taking with me to the hospital, which people might think I'm crazy for, but I did use the first time and I will be using the second time, and that is my Ikea mirror. I actually did do my makeup the first time and people thought I was crazy. I just looked a little too crazy to be like filming and things like that. So I don't plan on doing like crazy makeup, but just a little bit of makeup as well as my makeup case. So the next thing I plan on doing, I should have showed you this with the shower shoes, is my own body wash. It's just something about going to places like the gym and the hospital, not having your own body wash. It feels like it's not ever getting you as clean as your own body wash. But moving forward to what I'm gonna be doing for baby. So like I said earlier, there is really no need to bring a diaper bag. They're gonna have diapers, they're gonna have wipes, so I'm not bringing any of that type of stuff. Uh, no need for bibs, it's just not that serious. Uh, most, I might do a spit-up blanket, but I'm not gonna bring that because they're gonna supply that at the hospital as well. So I am bringing in a couple of onesies and sleepers for her to wear while we're in the hospital. Honestly, the outfit she's gonna be wearing, I just don't see the point in it being over the top and extra cute and stuff like that. So I got this simple pink onesie. I also got just a simple white Gerber baby onesie. I do have a couple of sleepers, which is this one here with the little footsies. And I like these types because they cover the hand, so I don't have to worry about bringing mittens or anything like that. And this is a sleeper. I think this is actually the sleeper that Nala wore when she was born, and it has the same little arm mitten thing. Just in case she is a little bit bigger, I got a bigger size one as well. And that's really gonna be it as far as her clothes. I am gonna be bringing one little simple hat and Socks. Also, I am planning on bringing a swaddle. I use these a lot with Nala, and they're just like the Velcro swaddles. And this is just in case for some reason that I don't get it down pat with swaddling with a blanket. So yeah, I guess that's really gonna be it for everything that I'm bringing to the hospital. I don't think this is too much. David's stuff is gonna be here as well, but it really doesn't matter what he's bringing because he's bringing what he normally brings wherever he goes on vacation. So, like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> he's not giving birth. I think I am pretty equipped with everything that I am going to need. Don't feel like I'm leaving anything out. Hopefully I am not. But yeah, I guess that's really it. I actually got this video out of the way and I'm so happy and so proud of myself because you guys I have been so wound up and so exhausted with juggling a one-year-old and being so far pregnant and it's been a lot it's been a journey but this is my testimony this is my life and I'm so blessed to come from an infertility story to now I'm being blessed with two baby girls and I'm so excited for what life brings but yeah that is going to be everything for my hospital bat video if you have any questions just make sure you comment down below I definitely love you guys I appreciate the support thus far and can't wait to talk to you guys soon so yeah just make sure that you like this video if you haven't already subscribed to the channel and I will speak to you guys in the next video Free black young free young Lenny Woods in the morning. R.I.P. Yo.
your mama.